All right, so early this morning, we got a new data download on the global side of the game. So in this video, as always, we're gonna find out exactly what it was for. Now, real quick, before we jump in, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy Proton and 10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. He is very, very close to 5K followers. So let's get him there. I'm gonna say by the end of today. I know we can do it, so just do it, guys. Okay, so from there, let's pop down to the assets, starting with the Extreme Z Battle slash Extreme Z Awakening for the SDR Namek Goku. There is the logo for the event. There is the Namek Goku himself. That is the banner for the uh, event in game, and also a cut in for the Super Saiyan Goku. And then we have. Uh, super attack line there, the Super Saiyan Goku again, there is the Rage form Goku, as well as the uh, full art for him, and then finally we have the SSR form of the Goku, another cut in, and another uh, super attack line too. And last but not least, we have his Extreme Z Awakening medals, bronze, silver, gold, and rainbow. So those are all the assets for the uh, Namek Goku Extreme Z Awakening. The category weakness is full power, and it's dropping at uh, 8 a.m. GMT, which I believe is 1 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. 1 or 2 a.m. I'm not 100% sure about the conversion, but it's soon. It's less than 24 hours away, okay? And after that, we have another Extreme Z Awakening slash Extreme Z Battle for the LR Full Power Frieza, specifically the STR LR Full Power Frieza. The weakness is Planet Namek Saga. It's coming out at the same time as the Namek Goku Extreme Z Battle. And uh, there is the logo for the event. We have the uh, Full Power Frieza. There's the in-game banner, a cut-in, and also a few more assets for the Frieza as well. And lastly, his Extreme Z Awakening Medal, which is only the rainbow one because for LRs, as you guys know, there's only a rainbow medal, right? So that is for the LR Full Power Frieza. And we also have another Extreme Z Awakening for the Tech uh, Final Form Cooler, who is going to be getting his Extreme Z Awakening through the medals from the Fizz Final Form Cooler Extreme Z Battle event. So there aren't any uh, new medals for him. But uh, yeah, he's also getting an Extreme Z Awakening. And the last thing we have here is updated quality of RNG login assets. So apparently the backgrounds for the, you know, Gohan wood chopping uh, login bonus has been updated. Um, I guess they look better, I'm not really sure. I mean, he does say updated quality, right? So I'm sure it's more HD than before, but I'm probably not gonna notice a difference. Now, this does call into question the idea that they're able to update background assets to look better but we still can't get hd arts for new lrs for new cards in general which is just kind of crazy to me you know like if they give us an option to download an extra 5 to 10 gigs of data just to get hd arts for our cards i would a hundred percent do that you know like i want it to be optional though because some people just can't you know uh, take all that data on their devices, right? They don't have that space. But if you do have the space and you want HD arts, then it should be an option. You know, anyways, this is a different topic for a different day. Uh, updated background for the RNG login. And that is essentially everything we got from this data download. So if that's all you wanted to know, then feel free to click off the video now. Once again, a big shout out to Proton for posting all this. And now, what we're going to do is jump over to the Dokkan Wiki and uh, quickly break down the Extreme Z Awakenings for all three of, this, uh, of these units. Now, I know two of them, the Goku and the Frieza, have already been revealed on the Dokkan Now program. We just recently found out about what the Final Form Cooler does. But in case you guys missed the Dokkan Now or you want a refresher before they drop tomorrow, then definitely keep watching. So starting with the STR Namek Goku before the Extreme Z Awakening, 
His leader skill was Super Saiyan's or Planet Namek Saga category key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack immense damage, raises allies attack by 30% for one turn, and passive was attack and defense plus 77%, attack and defense plus 15% with each attack received up to 59%, and transforms when conditions are met. And then the conditions are transformed when HP is 70% or less starting from the third turn from the start of battle. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, his new leader, new leader skill is Super Saiyans or Planet Namek Saga category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, super attack immense damage, raises allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn, and passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, and then attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 59% transforms when conditions are met. And they actually changed the transformation condition a little bit, so instead of 70% HP, he now transforms when HP is 77% or less, starting from the third turn from start of battle, so it's a little bit easier to get. And uh, as far as the passive goes, it's a little bit lazy in my opinion, obviously a bigger boost, but you know, not much has changed, it's just 77%, or rather 150% instead of 77%. He gets a little bit more key, and he also gets this additional attack and defense boost faster than before, but it's the same percentage. So, while I'm not saying it's bad, I just feel like, you know, it's a little bit lazy, right? Now, let's uh, take a look at the Super Saiyan Goku, because that changes as well, obviously. So, before the EZA, Super Saiyan Goku... Uh, super attack raises defense and causes immense damage, and then passive attack and defense plus 80%, attack plus 59% for the rest of the battle. After receiving attack, medium chance of guarding all attacks, guard activated against all attacks, and high chance of performing a critical hit for 3 turns when guard is activated. Now for the extreme D awakening, uh, super attack raises defense, same thing, immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And then passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, which is a massive jump from 80% before, right? And then plus an additional defense plus 59% when HP is 77% or less, plus an additional attack plus 59% for the rest of the battle after receiving an attack, medium chance of guarding all attacks, and uh, guard activated against all attacks, and high chance of performing a critical hit for 4 turns when guard is activated. So some minor changes aside from the uh, you know initial attack and defense boost being much larger. Um, yeah, I think this Goku is pretty good. I think he's pretty good on paper at least. I would have hoped that he would have gotten some more unique changes, right? Like maybe some kind of unique um, mechanic that uh, he didn't have before. But from what I can see, it's essentially just bigger numbers. Uh, maybe, yeah, one more turn for this guard and high chance to crit. Uh, the rage condition, I think, is exactly the same from what I can tell. It is. And speaking of the rage Goku, uh, before the Extreme Z Awakening, Super Attack, he had two. There was Meteor Smash and Super Meteor Smash. Both caused, or no, one caused Supreme Damage, one causes Immense Damage, and his passive is randomly changes Key Spheres of a certain type to Rainbow Key Spheres. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, it's immense damage for the 8 to 11 key, and then the 12 key greatly raises the attack temporarily and causes immense damage. And then his passive is changes AGL key spheres to STR key spheres and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, AGL and STR excluded, to rainbow key spheres. So it's going to be a little bit easier to get a super attack off in the rage form, right? And uh, that is the Namek Super Saiyan Goku. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I don't want this video to be too long. Overall, I think it's a good Extreme Z Awakening. I was maybe expecting a little bit more, but I think he'll be very much usable now. I think he's going to be pretty good for longer events for sure with that defense stacking. And, uh, you know, obviously doing a lot more damage to than before. So not much to complain about. I just wanted something a little bit more unique, but it's fine. It's fine. Now let's pop over to the full power Frieza. Before the EZA, leader skill full power category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or extreme STR types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack, mega cost of damage, while sacrificing 
8% HP. 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 80%, and then plus an additional key plus one and attack plus 10% when HP is 90% or less. Uh, additional key plus two, attack plus 20% when HP is 70% or less, plus an additional key plus two, then attack plus 20% when HP is 50% or less, and then performs a critical hit, plus an additional key plus two, and attack plus 20% when HP is 30% or less. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, his new leader skill is full power category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or extreme STR types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, which is exactly the same as before, which is kind of interesting. But anyways, uh, 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega cost of damage while sacrificing 5% HP, so he doesn't hurt himself as much as before, and then 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And passive is key plus four, attack and defense plus 120% before it was uh, only 80%, and then he's getting additional defense plus 40% when performing a super attack, and attacks effective against all types if it is an ultra super attack, which is a really nice touch. And then from there we get additional key plus 2 and attack plus 40% when HP is 80% or less. Additional key plus 2, attack plus 40% when HP is 60% or less. And then performs a critical hit when HP is 40% or less. Disables the enemy's attacks, or sorry, uh, disables the attacked enemy's action once within the turn if HP is 40% or less when attacking once only. So... Uh, of course, more defense is always a good thing. Attacks effective against all is going to make him hit a lot harder. And also, uh, these attack boosts are bigger, and he's also getting them at a higher HP threshold, so it's going to be easier to get the full boost, although it's still going to be hard to get everything because you got to be below 40% uh, HP, which is you know a little bit risky, right? But overall, I think it's a solid Extreme Z Awakening, just like the Goku, I think it's going to be fine. Um, do I wish that they would have given him something more interesting in the Extreme Z Awakening in the passive? Yes, but it's not a huge deal. Um, do I think that I'm going to be using him over the AGL full power Frieza, right, the LR Dokkan best one? Probably not, right? I think he doesn't replace the AGL full power Frieza. But you can run them together, you can run them maybe a little bit more interchangeably depending on what the type of the enemy uh, is that you're facing, right? So yeah, good Extreme Z Awakening there for the Frieza as well. And finally, we have the Tech Final Form Cooler before the Extreme Z Awakening, AGL, Tech, and Fizz types, key plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 30%, Super Attack, Supreme Damage with a rare chance to stun, and Attack plus 90% at the start of turn was his passive. So with the EZA, his new leader skill is AGL Tech and Fist Types, key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%, Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Supreme Damage, with a medium chance of stunning. And passive, key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 150%, launches an additional Super Attack, or sorry, an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a Super Attack. Great chance of performing a critical hit when the enemy is stunned, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 50%, stuns the attacked enemy when there's an enemy whose name includes Goku, Youth, Junior, or Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded once only. So uh, yeah, he becomes a lot better. I mean, no question, it's a massive, massive improvement. Am I going to be using him over any of the other Final Form coolers in the game? No, I'm not using him over Fizz. I'm not using him over, obviously, the new LR Final Form Cooler. So he is a nice option if uh, you don't have either of those or you want to maybe run two coolers. But even then, the two coolers you would want to run would be Fizz Final Form Frieza. Why do I keep saying Frieza? Fizz Final Form Cooler or STRLR Final Form Cooler, right? So um, he doesn't really have a place on, you know, like, at least the best... Uh, terrifying Conquerors teams, or Wicked Bloodline, and so on and so forth, but he is a nice option if you don't have the other two, and uh, you know, with that said, I think he's going to perform just fine, I think he's going to get some good defense, 
Uh, his damage output should be fine, especially against Goku's. He should be very effective on Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. So, uh, yeah, overall, a good EZA. Once again, nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but it's nice to see, you know, once again, older units become relevant again, right? So, that is the breakdown of the three Extreme Z Awakenings. Personally, I'm the most excited for this Goku because he's probably the only one that will have a place on my team since this one will be, you know, replaced or rather, uh, won't replace the AGL full power Frieza. And this guy definitely is not replacing the other coolers. But this Goku can definitely have a spot on, uh, you know, Goku's family team or your Saiyans or something like that. And uh, that's going to do it for today's data download update, guys. Once again, get my boy Proton to 5k followers. I know we can do it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.